Oh yeah, hey guys, it's Mark Shea here. You're watching another episode of Exploring Australia. And this time we're doing something a little bit different. Um, but I'll tell you all about that after the intro. So check it out. Rev it up, pay the toll. Following the wild line to free our soul. The UHS on 25, we got a combo. Yeah guys, so um, I'm out here. We're doing a bit of hiking. Uh, I'm doing some hiking with Vanessa. Hey, I've got my channel and Vanessa's got hers. I'll link that down below. So make sure you give her a subscribe. And we want to show you some areas that are further than a day hike. You know, so we thought, let's get back into some camping uh, and hiking so we can bring you some more remote spots. So we've got a whole bunch of gear that we're starting to acquire. We still haven't got all of what we want to have, but we've got some new... Uh, Ultra Lone Peak 4s, the mids, Vanessa's got the women's, I've got the men's, just because comfort on the feet is a big thing, because <laughs> the boots and shoes that we've been wearing haven't been too kind on our feet. So we decided let's go for a walk and let's check out this hike that you're seeing a photo of. I ain't going to try and pronounce it, um, so if you know how to pronounce it properly, let me know down in the comments. But, uh, so we thought let's go for a bit of a day hike and just test out some gear and yeah, see how we go. But we thought while we're out here, well, let's do some footage, let's do some vlogs and I'll show you around. And so check out some of this footage and I'll talk to you soon. And this is the walkway that we're doing. The Yulava walking track. Part of the Great North Walk. And you go to the Glen Rock Lagoon, which is over, over two Ks. But Newcastle CBD is 8.9 k's from this point. And there's the entrance. And we begin. Yeah guys, so you're probably wondering why, you know, it seems like the intro for this one's going to be halfway through it. <laughs> um, I shot a whole intro and a whole bunch of other footage and I shot it at a stupid frame rate that isn't going to go well with this video, so I've had to start all over again. So I'll try and remember some of the stuff we talked about, but if you're wondering what I'm doing today, we're doing some hiking now we're actually just trying out some gear it's like me and Vanessa got some new shoes hiking shoes trail runners the ultra lone peaks 4.0 mids so we're trying them out on the trail and also we're testing out some things like I've got this backpack really heavy um, way heavier than it normally would be. Just as a bit of a challenge in that. But also to test it out, because we do a lot of like day walks things and that, as you've seen on Exploring Australia. But we wanna try and get some places where you have to actually go really, really far. And um, even overnight to see some awesome places that are around here. So me and Vanessa used to hike years ago before we met um, and we decided let's get back into it and let's do some things with the vlogs so we decided to come out here as a day hike because we both just got our shoes and so we're trying them out seeing how they go and like I said I want to try out the pack it's only a cheap shitty pack but have a look around To my video stuff up. Um, lost a lot of things. Well, 
we almost saw, well, Vanessa saw a red belly black snake. And we were talking about the dangers that you've got to keep your eyes out when you're out here. And the red belly black snake, of course, will run away, most of them. They, they don't like you, so unless you actually stand on one, or you chase after it and do something stupid, they'll pretty much take off. But they are very dangerous, so don't go playing with them. But they're not like the brown that'll actually chase you. And I thought that was an important message, but it was in the video section that got stuffed up. My bad. Um, I was shooting it. I was, had this camera set for 120 frames a second. I'm like, oh my god. But, so when you're out here, walk, walk in these sort of areas, make sure you keep your eye out for snakes. And yeah, you don't want to be trodden on by accident. guys so don't forget if you like this video hit like and of course help build this channel um, I've got heaps of videos coming up I've just been totally flat out um, I've still got videos from Tamworth coming but I want to do this one first I know it's just things have been absolutely hectic I've started school again as well as a whole bunch of stuff so yeah it's been absolutely hectic so there's heaps of videos to come so so you don't miss out on those videos hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I post a video and let's get back to it. Here's some more footage. Lots of stairs. So you got stairs there. And you got stairs going up. So we gotta come back up this. So it's a good little walk. You don't have to be super fit to do it. Although I do have to thank the crew over at Total Fitness for getting me into shape from medical issues I had a couple years ago that made me put on a whole bunch of weight and got really unfit I think the total fitness they did such a great job in getting me back to where I can do things again I still got a long way to go but I'm a hell of a lot further from where I was I'll tell you that and this is fairly easy now Enjoying it. I would have struggled with a couple of years ago. Well, that. Or hearing noises and all that. <laughs>
so far, the Ultra Lone Peak 4s um, are absolutely awesome. One flaw is, is when you're on, as you can see behind me, whoop, as you can see behind me, there's boulders and that. So if they've got any sort of slime on them, you will slide on your ass. There's no grip with the Lone Peak Ultras for that. But they're designed, like you can feel, if you're on s soft um, gravel and all that sort of stuff, they just grip and they're absolutely unreal for that. So on a trail and that, they're fantastic. Um, but yeah, just be careful if you're doing a smooth surface with any sort of slime on it, you will slide right off. They're not grippy on that, but I don't think they're designed for that. So, but so far, the, the Lone Peak Ultras are absolutely amazing so far. I'm loving them. So what is at the end of this walk? I hear you say. Well, maybe you don't. <laughs> well, this part of the walk brings us through to a beach. Here we are before I show you that. Let's have a look at this. See, we're on the Eula Bar, Eula Bar track head, 2.3 kilometers that way. So we've come 2.3 kilometers. This is part of the Great North Walk. And it goes on, Newcastle 6.6 .6 kilometers away, and Sydney Cove is 243 kilometers away. That way. So, what is at the end of this little trek that we're walking right now? I can see it. I don't know if you can on the camera. So, I'm really moving now. Now I'm bumping up and down a bit. And this is what's at the end of this little track. Yeah. Hey, okay, now this is going to be really crude because I've got to do it on my camera. So you can see. I don't know if you can see that. There's a tanker ship out there. Yeah, we stopped for lunch. Um, you hear the waves crashing. We're just down on the beach. Clouds are starting to come over though, so it could make things interesting. Um, as far as testing out the equipment, I've got a hell of a lot of weight in my bag. I'm like, I'm carrying like two point, two and a half liters of water, um, and I'm carrying drink. It's weighing, let's see. Uh, it's over three kilos of drink. Uh, like, uh, yeah, I loaded it up with cans of Coke because I knew that each can weighs 400 grams. So I was carrying about six or seven cans of Coke. Not that I'm going to drink them all. I just thought they'd be, they fit nicely in a little pack that I can weight the bag down. Um, and so, yeah, the pack's from Kmart. It's cheap, but it's... Yeah, it does the job at the moment. I definitely have to get one if we're going to do longer hikes. Uh, as far as the Lone Peak 4 shoes that I've been talking about. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Vanessa just got smashed by a wave. <laughs> I saw that. I, I didn't get it. Uh, but yeah, as far as the, the shoes, where we've been on a whole bunch of terrain, rock, sand, gravel, you know, dirt track mud and that and they are absolutely awesome shoes they're so grippy like I said the only thing is is uh, rocks with slime on them there's just nothing there but that's like with any shoe I don't think there's gonna be many shoes that'll be grippy on that sort of rock 
but it's just something to be mindful of, especially if you're near creeks and that, and you don't want to get your feet wet. Um, like these are the RSMs, the rain, snow, and mud boots. Um, so they would, they're all right to get a little bit wet. Uh, I will have to ask Vanessa how she went because she just got her feet wet by getting sm uh, hit by a wave. Uh, but yeah, things are going all right. And these shoes are absolutely awesome, loving them. It's really weird having the zero drop. Uh, but yeah, it's been a good walk, a good test with some of the equipment. So we look forward to bringing heaps of different uh, hiking stuff, hiking videos and that to show you a little bit more of Australia and in some parts that are harder to get to. So, so did your whole foot get wet or just the half of it? How they hold up? Feet still dry or did they get? Yeah. So, so she got hit by a wave that didn't go all the way up to the sock line, so her feet are still dry. So that's another bonus for the shoes. Yeah, another thing is we're trying some different foods because Australia doesn't really have a lot of camping foods. Um, so not hiking food. You know, like ones that are really light and don't take up much room and things like that. There's plenty of food here in Australia for that for camping, but for hiking, the choices are pretty slim. So, and I'm a fussy eater. Vanessa will tell you that. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's ignoring me now. Um, but yeah, so we tried the tuna and and that a couple tuna things. They were really nice. So we're just trying out some food, seeing how they pack in with the bags and all that sort of stuff. Which is interesting, so we'll soon see. Anyway, back to it. They were coming down to, might have seemed weird to be in the tracks, but they came down and went along the beach. Obviously this was all supported enough to have a train on and it's just eroded away but you can see how times change things Had some of eat. When you're on the trail, especially here in Australia, make sure you keep your eye out for the little snakes. Okay, there's all there's harmless ones, but you want to make sure you know your snakes a bit. You don't want to be messing with a brown or a red belly black, which is the main ones around here. So keep your eyes peeled and because they don't have to be big to kill you. <laughs> so, yeah, so always keep your eye out. And you never know, you might see a few that are harmless and you can get close enough to, but make sure you know what they are before you start playing around with them. And in that sense, you're probably better off just leaving them alone. And now we've left the beach. Time to make the trek back, which is mostly uphill. And up dun, dun, dun. I just love how the first couple of stairs look like tree root, you know, the tree roots of the stairs. You can't climb up to look out. There's a well. The old well. How beautiful is it out here? 
slap on some air guns so the bugs don't get you as bad. Point the camera and you're good. See, who needs a steer master? And you can just come out and go walking. Oh wow, look at that. It's like a wall under the tree. And no, I'm not using it as a break, I just thought that was really interesting. Cool. Cool. Okay, battery died. There's a hard cut. But yes, we got more stairs. I haven't moved as soon as the battery died. I stopped so I could change the battery. So you can see the whole lot of stairs that you gotta climb up to the lookout on the way back from the beach. But there you go. We have climbed all the way up back to the lookout. Let me just fix this up. See, so then, if you are puffed, you can stop, have a little break, and enjoy the fabulous views. Which we will go have a look. And this is where we walk from. but it was a great time. Yes, and you can see the background still the same, but I wanted to make sure I got an outro done just in case I, I'm too tired and I forget later on. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Again, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And don't forget, jump on over to Vanessa's page uh, channel. Uh, it's down below in the description. And hit subscribe and show her some love. And don't forget Conceptual Creative, they help me out so much. Make sure you give them some love too. Anyway guys, I'm Marshall, this is Exploring Australia. Until next time, see ya!